Get the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes.
work. compared to the things I have seen and killed. Start moving. It's no. 
Now or never. Hit that truck. his heart. still have a chance. Here's one for ya. Being a fascist wasn't good enough, huh? You have to get into demon worship too? That truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. And so you actually slept in that thing? That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, 
They don't know a thing. Whatever happens here never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah. I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of... Now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room... We might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was... eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Hey. Yes, hello. Tony, why do you name everything after yourself? Well, you seem like a bright person. Why don't you tell me? Because you love seeing your name and love everyone else seeing your name. Ouch, that hurts, boss. Do you really think that little of me? I explained the naming thing in one of my Tony talks. Well, I had a blast. Hope you did too. You've been doing well out there, kiddo. And you're making an impression on your teammates. Make sure you let them know how you feel about their efforts, too. They'll appreciate a kind word from the legendary hunter. What is it, Charlie? Find something? benefit of the doubt this time. Hunter, I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. Depends on what you need me to do. Nothing complicated. I don't need you to hunt special ingredients for a cake or anything like that. If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. 
that you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? That is all I need to know. I'm good. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. to calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. <sighs> and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider knee or two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, got a question for you. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course, let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Play the first start games. Although that project has a lot of trouble. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Take your pick, Hunter. I 
I guess I could show you a couple of things. Good stuff. Better than Practice makes perfect. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here.
Take this! By her command! I've been waiting for this. Wrong. I hope you're feeling strong today, because you're going to have to deal with one of the fallen. Why do I always have to? They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. Come get it. Your mother. Secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. They've destroyed one of the crates. Focus on getting the other keys. Can't shake it! Maybe you'll get lucky. Another round of warm bodies coming in. I've got your back. Uh, I, I don't remember. Another of the crates is armed to detonate. Get to that key card.
last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. Talk to your union guy. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. That'll work. Tony, mark the spot. I bet you guys couldn't even beat the security guards in my parking garage. We will peel back your flesh. This 
Shipment Hydra won't be receiving. Hey Hunter, Parker and I cooked something up and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. Robbie, this is incredibly short notice. Yeah, so Parker thought I already told you, I thought he was gonna tell you. But it shouldn't take too long, just a quick tour of the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. Uh, tell you what, if you come with me just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right, where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it. Told you. You want to give the rundown or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hellride and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty. For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. 
You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote, makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? No. Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit. But we could have it ready pretty quick. If I had a web shooter, you could spend more time in the shop. Maybe, but you'd probably glue yourself to the floor. And what would that do to the great and mighty hunter's reputation? Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. So, that's the shop. What do you think? You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker, are you sticking around? You're asking me if I'm sticking around? Ha! <laughs> Walked into that one. What have you got for me, boss? This should be quick. How does this look? If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky.
Central is ready to work. Time to spill your guts, Hydra. Really good intel here. We've got a lot to go on. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. Lucky you caught me in a good mood. See you soon. Hunter, have you seen Blaze around? Time's wasting, Hunter. I think we've got something for everyone. Something smells pungent. That would be Grandma Stark's famous linguine and clam sauce. With some Tony adjustments. Grandma's recipe was not good enough? Well, I loved her to pieces, but she also loved vodka in her cooking, and I can't touch the stuff. Not anymore. I even made sure the Abbey has a dry bar. What did I do to deserve this honor? That's just my way of saying thank you for being one of the only Midnight Suns who hasn't threatened to banish me to the Netherworld, empty my jugular, or portal me to the sun. And that was just today. Perhaps if they knew more of the man underneath the armor, they would come to understand you as I have. Maybe you're right. The Mark series can be pretty imposing. I was not talking about your suit. Oh, that's deep. Just like the garlic-rich flavor of Grandma Stark's famous sauce. Ah, you two would have really hit it off. Like you, she had a heart of gold, but could be quite the demon when crossed. Used to frighten the crap out of Dad. I thought it gave her character. Know who else I'm pretty sure has character? Who? You. Bon appetit, Hunter. Blade, can we speak in private? Is it about the chore wheel? Because I'm not swapping. No, it is not about that. Good. 
Everyone knows how I feel about dish duty. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. No. Hell no. I thought you were close with magic. I am. That's why I won't do it. I told Nico and I'll tell you. Magic skims the last chapter of a mystery before starting the book. The woman does not like surprises. Do you know why she dislikes surprises? Does she need a reason? That's how she is. It sounds like she would want to know about the party. Might not go over well with Nico, but Magic would appreciate it. That's your call. Is there anyone else who could help prep for the party? Outside the Midnight Suns? That Parker kid has way too much energy. May as well put it to good use. Thanks, Blade. For what? Kid's annoying. You'd be doing me a favor by keeping him off my back. Do half vampires need sunblock? Can your fangs drain a cream-filled cake? If we bite each other, would we have the same powers? It just... it never ends. Do you have time to speak in private? Are you firing me? Am I getting fired? No. Why would you ask that? I don't know. I panicked. Uh, sure. Let's talk. Nico needs help prepping for Magic's surprise party. Really? She asked for me? Her hands are full, so I am delegating. Sure. I'm the new guy. I get it. How can I pitch in? She needs help decorating the party room. I can tape balloons to the ceiling while standing on it. I am so in! <laughs> 